gentlemen, welcome to uh, another tutorial here from Peace Lavi. Uh, today what we're going to do is make a speaker pump in 3D Studio Max. I'm using 3D Studio Max 2010 for this. Uh, the other versions apply too. Now this tutorial is reasonably basic uh, if you have an understanding of the interface of 3D Studio. Anyway, to get with it we need a speaker and we need an audio file. Now first to create the speaker, what I'll do is I'll use a, a spline and so I'll, do is I'll create a line in the front view, so I'll just um, maximize the front view. So to create a speaker using a spline, we do this, we just basically draw the sort of the profile of the speaker, so that's the cone, say. Just follow this as best as you can. So we're going to make this rough, I don't want to get too accurate. So anyway, we've got this here, now I'll go to the perspective view, uh, we've got this line. Now, to make a speak out of this, uh, what we need to do is we need to go to the modifier and we'll use the uh, tool called the lathe tool. So I drop down here, the lathe tool, so we have this, right? Now, that doesn't look right, so we go back to the modifier, drop down this plus, go to axis, and we'll move this axis across. Oops. Hmm. See, that's not right. Why is that so? Well, delete the, the um, line, and what we need to do is first we need to affect the pivot. Sorry about that, guys. I'm doing this real time. So we need to put this pivot over here, so that's what we need to basically lathe this speaker from. So I'll move it from the front view across to the edge. Um, go to full view. We go back to the modifier, then we lay, add lathe again. Sorry about that. Now, that's better. We have a speaker here. Okay. So, we'll flip the normals over here so we can see it better. As you can see, there's the speaker. Now, I'll right-click on the speaker. We'll convert that to editable poly. Uh, go up to utilities here. We'll reset X form. So, we select reset X form. Reset selected. And then we go back to the modify. And then right-click on the object and convert it to an edible poly again. So we have this just to reset everything properly, that's why we went through that procedure. Now <clears throat> we'll go on the top view back here again. Um, we've got to work out where the speaker's gonna pump from. So if I uh, smooth this over look, yeah, I'll just add the edge faces here. So basically I want it to move from around here so the actual foam moves. So I'll select go back to the editing tool here, go to polygon use a um, circle, so we'll just go from the center out and just select these polygons here. As you can see, we've got this arrangement. Now we need to move this cone. Um, this is how it's going to move. As you can see that, it's in interesting. Uh, control Z, Alt. Yeah, um, now to make this cone move and control it with an audio file, we need to go back to the modifier here, leave these selected. Um, we'll go down to ripple, we'll select a ripple here, and we'll go to the amplitude here, we'll set it to 1, 1, and we'll set it just to about 1500. So yeah, we have this. As we move the phase, you can see the cone pump. So it's like controlling the phase. Well, you know, up and down. Now, to use an audio file to make this move, we need to basically go up to Graph Editors, Dope Sheet, and we select an, a sound. In this case, we'll open up the sound here, and we'll add a sound. I've got this piece Slavy tune. <laughs> well, I made it in Garage Band, but we'll use that. You can have a quick listen. A bit of a crackle there in the beginning. That's the tune. And we'll stop that, we'll close that. Just That's just to listen to it. We actually, to control the actual speaker, we come back down here to Objects, we go to Line, uh, expand that, we've got a Modified Object, where the ripple is here, expand that again. Now we've got this phase here. Click on the phase, we've got a controller, Assign Controller, we'll assign up Audio Float. So we'll choose the sound for the audio float. In this case I've got the audio files open, so I've got to go back to my speaker. So there's my speaker tutorial over here. 
and we select the sound, same sound file again that we selected before. Now we have a controller range here from 0 to 1 and mix which channels you want to mix. So this is good for if you're creating a left or right speaker. You can put one on the left, one on the right and so on. Anyway, we'll close that. Well, we don't have to close actually, we'll leave it open. Pull it up here, drop this a bit. Okay, here's the speaker here. Now if I press play, well make sure first before you do it, before you do any of this, you, you gotta make sure you got some frames here. So set your time frame to 600 here. So if we go here, select 600. Now, oh, I've already had that selected, but anyway, we'll press play. As you can hear the sound come on. As you can see the speaker move. Now if I move this up and down, give it more range. It doesn't look right, so all we'll do is we'll go negative. Uh, see, I'm controlling this here, controlling this over here, so depending on how much you give it negative, you see, the speaker's pumping to the music. Now we can get into the modeling side of things and all that and make it all good, but yeah, that's the basics of making it move. Um, if I want to make this speaker look good after I add some smoothing or something, drop the audio a bit, um, I'll stop this and I'll go up to the, my speaker selected here, so I'll go to the modify tab and we'll run a turbo smooth. Um, roughly that's what you get. So I'll leave the smoothing groups here enabled. And as you can see, we got that. If I render this, there's your speaker there. Um, you can texture it and all that, no problem. Uh, yeah, so as you can see, that looks smooth now. Add another turbo smooth on it. And then we just play. Yeah, look at that. Interesting. I love this feature. Anyway, thank you guys for watching this tutorial. And I hope it helped you in some way. Anyway, bye bye.